Hi, welcome back to Cross Gear. See, so you bought your DJI FPV co combo, you're happy with it, but you want to go to the next step. What do you do? Because you can't get another quad that binds to that, and you now want something to fly, something that you can do acro better with, something that you're not scared of throwing around, and an altogether better proposition for flying acro. I, I do not believe the FPV drones for acro. I said in my other video what I thought it was for, and I stick by that. So what do you do next? Well, there are two things you can do. You've goggled, you've already got the goggles, so you can already bind to a DJI quad. Now you've bought the FPV quad, I'm presuming for the reason that you don't want to build your own. But if you want to build your own, you can build something like this. You put your own receiver in it, or you can bind it to the DJI unit, but you need to learn how to solder. If you don't want to do that, you can buy a bind and fly. This is the Nazgul 5 HD, fantastic it is. It has the Cadix Vista in the back, and it has the DJI camera in the front. I've also got a Sessions on here, but I normally fly with a GoPro 8, get some really nice footage. And that's bind and fly. So if you want to make this as simple as possible, you can actually buy one of these, because this is what you're going to need to do. Sorry about that. So this will bind directly to this quad. It will use the Cadix Vista as a receiver and will give you really nice range and it will bind straight away. Simply a matter of pressing a button on the Vista, pressing a button on here, the two will bind together and you'll be able to use your goggles and fly Acro properly with something like this. But this is going to cost you £299 and then you're looking at 260 I think this quad is so you're looking at 550 but if you crash your DJI quad how much are you looking at there even if you've got the warranty on it because you're still gonna have to pay something towards it so it's not a cheap option but it is an option or you don't buy this you can save yourself 300 quid and buy something like this you're already used to the form factor this will not give you as good range, obviously, as the DJI unit will, because this doesn't have crossfire or anything. You can spend extra and get a Tango, but again, you're looking at 200 quid. These are 60 quid. You buy this, you buy an XM Plus receiver to go in here, which will cost you about 20 quid. But you have to do some soldering, and off you go. Or you can build your own. But whatever you do next, you're going to have to do a little bit of work. You're going to have to learn beta flight. To a degree, at least so you can just set your switches up on whichever controller. So even if you've got this one, you still have to do beta flight to set the controller up. With this one, there's quite a bit more work. You'll have to learn how to do it. But at some point, flying FPV, you're going to have to learn anyway. My preference would be probably get yourself, I'd buy this. Even though it's 300 quid, I'd look for a second hand one of these. Because there is a lot of them about. And you'll be able to use your goggles and you can pick up a bind and fly. But if you wanted to go the extra mile, you can build your own. I built this for cheaper than that was and I really like this quad. I think it flies superb. And I fly, I still fly on that controller. Well, not this one, I've got two of these. So I fly some another one of them. And I'm happy with it. So the easiest thing would have been had DJI left, made the receiver... Um, sorry, the unit, the camera unit, compatible. So if they'd have made the, the their transmitter, the FPV transmitter that you get in your bundle, capable of connecting to an air unit, all would have been good. The reason they can't do that is the air unit's at 5.8 gigahertz and isn't capable of swapping between 2.4 and 5.8. So you're not going to get this. I'd imagine at some point they're going to bring out their own, another version, maybe a camera with it built in that you can buy to put on a quad. Something's going to happen, or they're going to bring out another quad, DJI, DJI. They're not going to sit on their hands, and judging by the amount of these things I've seen on video, there's a lot about. One thing I will tell you is, if you're quite new to this, there's a good chance you're going to crash that DJI drone. I wouldn't even go down that road. I'd get used to flying it in sports mode, have a couple of little goes in manual to get your confidence up and go for something like this. If you pile this in, and this has been, although don't 
before by the fact this looks brand new this has been crashed a few times it just cleans up i just wash it when i come home i literally run underneath with a wet sponge and i just that's it clean the motors out every now and then and i've had no hassle with it it's probably about 40 flights in this so bit of thinking for today i've seen plenty of videos with people saying yeah you can do this and you can do that but whatever you do next the next step you take you're going to have to learn something be it beta flight be it soldering but something you need to do anyway you need to be able to use a controller uh, your own transmitter and bind it to it whether it's a dji one or this one if you've got any questions by all means ask me in the comments i'll try and help you out but I think that's your cheapest option and the easiest option. So for £550, you're in the air, bind to your goggles, you can be up and going with a very, very small amount of work on beta flight, and you can watch a video of many videos of people setting them up. Um, and then you're up and going and you've got something better to fly with. So no matter what video you watch, no matter who's telling you, this flies um, so much better than the DJI drone on Acro. There's absolutely no doubt about it. This thing flies so much better because it's meant to do that. This is a freestyle drone. It's meant to do the things it does. Whereas the DJI drone is a hybrid and I think it's an in-between and I think it's got a, mar a place in the market. But I do wish they'd have made it look something like this. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a fantastic day.